Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm at the Walker Art Center near downtown Minneapolis. And they've got this nine story building that really, in my opinion, has very little in it. <laughs> they've got these huge rooms with only a few pieces, and I've seen much better art <laughs> in a lot of places. So, even though it's a big building, it didn't take me long to go through it. But what I do find fascinating is the sculpture garden right across the street here. This is the top deck of the Walker Art Center. And right across the street here is the sculpture garden. Downtown Minneapolis. And they actually have a mini golf course up here. When have you seen that in a museum? We've got some more art pieces on the grounds here. And an interesting building across the street. Wonder what that is. You can even see the blue chicken from here. So I'm going to show you some interesting things that they have in the sculpture garden. There's nothing underneath this big structure except a few tables. I guess they use that for some special events. They have molded some metal pieces to these rocks. Very colorful pieces of metal. And I bang my hand on them to see that they are actually metal. Somehow they molded them to fit onto these rocks. I've never seen that before. Well, I guess it would be a good place for a picnic in the rain, but it's not going to provide you any shade. <laughs> this is one of the most well-known art pieces, the cherry and the spoon, which seems very strange to me because nobody eats cherries with spoons. And in reality, <laughs> that cherry wouldn't stay up the top of that spoon very long. Now also, at the very tip of this, they have a misting sprayer that is spraying a mist of water all around the area here. And also water is pouring out of the bottom of that stem, which is also strange. That's something that should not happen. <laughs> Getting that water out of a cherry, interesting. This explains some of the things around the park here. I suppose this is supposed to be some kind of piece of art as well. And I bet this is the bluest chicken you've ever seen in your life. And let's see what this is supposed to be. A big silo type building just for that one statue. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. And have you ever seen a wind chime tree? This is a rabbit on top of a bell. I don't get the connection. They do have these signs that tell about each item. Can you read that? This tells about it. 
Look at the kids swinging on that thing. This is called a Don tree. I never would have guessed that that would be a Don tree. Here's a better view away from that chime tree. I've never heard of sagacious heads, but apparently that's what these two items are. Here's a better view of the chicken. I have seen these love letters in several places around the country. And these people seem to be in love with it. She's telling them all about the love, I guess. Here's another view of the spoon and cherry. And the size of those people can give you a perspective of how big this thing is. Your guess is as good as mine what this is supposed to be. I bet you would never guess what this art piece is supposed to be. It's a reclining mother and child, okay? And this is called the level head. Which doesn't look very level to me, so I don't quite get it. So this woman has just won a victory with a wolf. And the most amazing part is that she did it with no clothes on. Imagine that. And this is very rare for a female nude statue is that it is anatomically correct. I've never seen that before. And it's a more natural woman than the real beauties that is typically made of nude sculptures. And this is unusual. This bronze woman, you only get to see the right half of her. How about that? I'm not an artist, but I think I could have done this myself. It's simply a snowman. Here's a couple ladies that look like has met with a terrible fate. Oh boy. And this lady just as bad. This is how we know it's a lady. Well, if you're visiting Minneapolis, you're going to want to come here. Not so much for the art in the building there, but for the sculpture grounds is really interesting. Good day, folks.